thanks to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I hope you have a great year ahead full of awesome DIY projects. If you're new here, I'll catch you up to speed and reintroduce myself. I'm Stephanie and I grew up learning construction and carpentry from my father. While I was in college, I joined the Army National Guard as a carpentry and masonry specialist where I really discovered my passion for woodworking and construction. When I was 22, I tackled my first major project which was building a tiny house. I sold the tiny house a year later and bought my first real house at 23 and I've been buying and fixing up homes ever since. My husband and I are both from Wisconsin. We moved here to Florida where Devin is stationed with the Navy. Our first home together was a beautiful cookie cutter home. In that house I did a major pantry upgrade and dream closet makeover series that now has over 5 million views on YouTube. I was running out of projects in that house so we started looking for fixer-upper houses closer to town and to Devon's work. About two years ago, we bought this 1950s ranch full of potential projects. I've had so much fun these last couple years fixing up this house and sharing the progress with you guys. So I thought this would be a great time to share a before and after tour and reflect on some of the big projects we accomplished. As we enter the house, to the left is the living room. We decided to keep the old parquet floors because they're in great shape and they add some cool character to the home. I took out the old front door and replaced it with a new wood front door that has some big windows to let in some more light. There used to be a door going into the hallway, so I took the door off and turned this into a beautiful arched doorway. I also did some pretty picture frame molding and painted the living room a fresh white to brighten it up even more. We have some more beautiful windows heading into the home office. In this room, I did an accent wall with beadboard and painted it in off-white color. In the corner here, I turned the tiny closet into a file cabinet closet where we can organize files and display books, making it more functional. Last, I built this designer desk. I found one similar on Pinterest that cost over $2,000, so I decided to DIY it for a fraction of that. I've got some painting to finish up in here and a few other projects to tackle in the future. You can find all these DIY project tutorials linked below and on my channel homepage. We are lacking storage in this house, especially with a small kitchen, so we decided to do a wall of built-ins where we can display extra dishware. We also have a coffee bar and alcohol bar, perfect for entertaining guests.
I loved the round table that the previous owners had, so I built a similar round walnut dining table and I think it fits the space perfectly. The kitchen was a huge undertaking. The whole family helped out on this one. My dad stayed with us for a few extra weeks to help us with the major items like taking down a wall, installing new cabinetry and tile. I have a whole nine part series on my channel on the kitchen renovation. A few big video tutorials I have are building a custom pantry and fridge surround, installing backsplash tile, and building a custom range hood. Heading to the other side of the house, we have one of two guest bedrooms. We haven't done anything in this room yet except new furniture. I'll be working on some projects in this room in the future. The guest bathroom was in pretty good shape. We kept all the tile, but replaced the vanity, sink, faucet, and toilet. I also replaced the lighting in here, as well as installed a new medicine cabinet and mirror.
finally we have the primary bedroom this is kind of a small awkward space so we had to get a bit creative we ended up taking the closet out and using it to extend the bathroom so i made a built-in wardrobe for our closet i got the cabinets and doors from ikea Besides the wardrobe, I installed some more picture molding, painted the entire room a fresh white, and replaced the ceiling fan. Start your new year with Brooklinen's high quality bed sheets at an affordable price. It's been a crazy year for me renovating the house and living through all the construction, but it was always comforting to know that I had comfy, luxurious bedding waiting for me at the end of the day. As you guys know, high quality bed sheets are really expensive, but Brooklinen gives you the quality and comfort at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. Brooklinen is offering my viewers a special discount of $20 off any order over 100. Just click the link below and use code code Stephanie. Here I have their best selling Luxe Sateen Sheets in Cream, which are the ultimate bedding upgrade, perfect for elevating your sheet game. These sheets feature a luxurious 480 thread count and slightly luminous finish. Instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover like you see here. I give these sheets 5 stars, they are silky smooth, nice and cool, and extremely comfy. Thank you again Brooklinen for providing so much comfort to our bed and our life. Let's get back to the tour. Next we have the primary bathroom. As you can see, it used to be extremely small. So we took out the wall between the bathroom and closet and extended the bathroom so we could install a shower and bigger vanity. My dad was a huge help with this project as well. I also installed some floating shelves so we could store some more toiletry items. Last but not least, we have the garage. The garage is so tiny. There's no way we could actually fit a car in here if we tried. We need all the storage that we can get for laundry, yard equipment, and all my tools. So I took everything out, took out the old shelving, painted the walls a fresh white, epoxy painted the floors, and added a bunch of new storage.
that is it for the fixer upper tour. We're not totally finished fixing up this house yet. We haven't even touched the exterior, so there will be lots of outdoor projects to look forward to this year. Right away, we're going to be working on building a floating deck in the backyard and also working on building a proper workshop for me, which I am so excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching and for following along with all of these crazy projects. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun this year. I'll see you in the next video.